guys welcome back to my channel my name is Monette and this is my channel evolve with Monette I am a professional intuitive empath as well as an all-around life path three who has managed to catch a cold over the holiday as one does over the holiday so bear with me today I wanted to get into the title of the video which is Stephanie Sue listening to her spiritual hives and the Low Vibration of Nikocado Avocado. Now, while it may not be titled that exactly, there is a lesson here if you have zero idea who these people are. If you are part of the YouTube community, these two people are mukbangers, and mukbang is an eating show done by one, or sometimes many, and as we find out on the playground, as in life, sometimes when there is two or more, it can be a crowd. What do they say? Uh, two's company, three's a crowd? I think that's right. So, what happened is, these two people decided to do a collaboration, and they had a superficial friendship at best. I'm going to just cut through a lot of the clutter. If you are into the drama of all of this, you've watched the million videos that have been made, and I may even link Stephanie's video below if you would like to see the final way that she finished him, Mortal Kombat style. But what I took away from it as an intuitive empath is that Stephanie Sue didn't listen right away to her spiritual hives regarding Nikocado Avocado. And the thing about this guy is that he is quite manipulative as she very expertly details. I mean, it was like with the precision of a surgeon here that she laid out her case. But she found herself in a position where he was pressuring her to communicate things and talk about somebody else. And it was rather high schoolish and she wasn't wanting to engage. They're all of age over 21. These are grown adults. However, she was uncomfortable. She felt manipulated. And it was all happening during this video they were filming, and she didn't feel like she could vocalize her opinion. And the first video she made, she said, why well, am I scared of Nikocado Avocado? And she was scared of him because he was manipulative and aggressive and other things, and she detailed it. Well, I have another video that I will link below about trusting your spiritual hives. And what that means is hearing intuitively varying or vicious energy that's being sent your way. She didn't feel comfortable doing the collaboration with this person, but she still went forward and she did the collaboration with him. And then he revealed in another video that he never liked her. He was just using her. He wanted to expose her. She allowed him into her home and she had had unfortunately suffered an assault uh, uh, or a battery of the sexual nature a previous, not by him, but by somebody else. So she already had trauma surrounding trust and allowing people into her space. He started taking pictures, taking pictures of the security system. At this point, it has escalated to where there are lawyers involved. Now, this is an extreme case of when not trusting your spiritual hives goes very, very wrong because she didn't trust herself and she tried to be nice, accommodating, and even people-pleasing, which is something she talks about in her video that she was working on in her own personal recovery from her sexual trauma. And I find that this happens a lot when I'm working with clients or anybody that's had any kind of sexual trauma is understanding the boundaries, not wanting to make somebody mad, being comfortable saying, no, this doesn't work for me. And... When I'm teaching about spiritual hives, it's so important for you to hear that right away because you can avoid a situation like Stephanie Sue has found herself in where she's embroiled and entangled in a whole drama that she truly didn't want to be involved in because she was afraid to stand up for herself initially. And she has quite brilliantly done it now. She st stood up for herself. But it was an evolution and a learning lesson for her. And I want you to extract, have you ever in your life been around somebody that you knew was pushing? or making you uncomfortable but you just kind of acquiesced because you didn't want to piss them off you didn't want to upset them and so you went along to get along and then at the end you're kicking yourself thinking like why did I even do that why did I even put myself in that position well you put yourself in that position because you didn't trust your intuition there's nothing wrong with that each one of us every day disregard intuitive nudges that we get and if you are into this and you're on YouTube and you saw this unfold and you read about it or you saw it or heard about it you will understand if you want to go invest the time to watch the many hours and I mean hours of footage that both of these two people compiled what manipulation looks like there's something else I want to touch on here regarding Stephanie Sue and Nikocado Avocado which is the lower vibration that Nikocado 
comes with. His vibration, it seems to be quite charismatic and upbeat, and that can be deceptive because he's loud, he's he seems bright, vivacious, he's an articulate man. However, he feeds off of drama. Have you ever been around somebody like that in your life? And even though it's like an optical illusion, like those 3D eye puzzles from the 90s, you're looking at them and you're thinking, okay, I know for a fact that I don't feel comfortable around you, but you seem like such fun. Narcissists and people of that nature are often fun, and I'm not diagnosing Nikocado as a narcissist, but what I am saying is that that lower vibration, that thing that makes you uncomfortable, is how your angels and your intuition communicates with you and says, you know what, back up from this person. They are not to be trusted. The wrap-up to this situation is he admitted I didn't like her, and I was only doing this to extract information, to ramp up his views, to make more money. But she allowed this person who was avaricious, meaning he was very, he was covetous of what she had. He was talking about her things and her stuff. Guys, you got to watch people like that. They smile at you, and they're like, oh, girl, that's amazing. And how are you doing? And how much are you making? But something in you is uncomfortable. And you're like, why are you worried about this so much? Especially if it's not a close friend. Like, if it's not your bestie, it's not your mama, it's not your lover that's inquiring about stuff like that. If it's just a random person that has kind of cozied up to you folks, pay attention. Those are red flags. And in this situation, what we can all learn is that our spiritual hives are real things. We all, no one is special. Over the holidays, I had an in-law ask me, is what you do something only you can do or can we all do it? Well, I told her the answer is we all do it. Everybody does it, but you have to train yourself to hear and intuitively hear and understand what is happening around you. And that is how you are able to move forward and you don't find yourself in the kind of snafu that Stephanie Sue has found herself in, but she has quite expertly disentangled herself from. Save yourself the trouble as we move through 2020, folks. Do not allow yourself to be sucked in by a manipulator. When you know immediately that you don't trust their energy and they're making little catty jokes that are little pokes and prods, but you're uncomfortable, you're uncomfortable for a reason. You're not uncomfortable because you're crazy. Don't allow them to gaslight you. You're uncomfortable because they don't have your best interests at heart and usually it will reveal itself but after a messy embroiled situation as these two found themselves in take a page out of your own book and trust yourself first you are your first line of defense against manipulative people and lower vibrations and if the lower vibration comes in a shiny package of bright sounds and a lot of words that's still a lower vibration if you have deemed it as such you don't have to run it by anybody. You know the answer. I'm so glad that we had a chance to connect again today and share some energy. And I want you to come back and we will continue to evolve together.